Well, hello everyone. So this is going to be my first page from hashtag Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, or as mine will be called, Juanette's Journal of Stitchery. So that's my title page. So Roxy and Sarah gave us a prompt of for our first page to lay down some background fabrics. And I want to make a seam. So I've laid down a couple of different greens here because there's going to be grass here. This is a piece of fabric that I believe I got from Christina Creates. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Christina, but I'm pretty sure you sent that to me. This is going to be my sky, so I put some blue fabrics here, and I just tacked it down because this is my base page. Then this little image here, the prompt is lace and a jumping bunny or bouncing bunny. Now this little piece of fabric came from Roxy herself. And I've shared with you before, she lives in Italy. I had ordered a pack of vintage uh, fabrics from her. This is some of the other stuff I believe I got from her, some hemp, which I don't remember seeing here in the United States, this kind of fabric. I'm sure we must have it. But anyway, she had this in the pack. And so I'm going to stitch that on and I'm going to embroider around the little rabbit. I'll probably do some turkey work here for his little bunny tail. And then the other thing, I'll be doing some embroidering around here. But my thought is to take this. This is from uh, Stamping Up Stamp and Die Set. Uh, it's no longer available, but what I'm going to do is take this image here, this die, and I'm going to trace around it and then stitch either some other kinds of fabric like a brown here, just different like strips of brown and a, the little arch, and then I'll embroider some flowers all around it. Then I'll have this little bunny here and I'll be doing some stitching you know, here and what have you. But I just wanted to kind of show you this video uh, in what um, Sarah and Rachel wanted us to do. So I will start doing some stitching. Oh, for my grass, the lace, they said lace and bunnies for this first one. And so I've got several different laces that I believe I'm going to stitch stitch down in certain places. I've got this little um, little piece of green. I might take some of this cheesecloth that I have and stitch that down. And then I also have several other different. This is a lighter green. These are some... Um, some ribbons and fabrics that I got from my sister. And then I thought, oh, this really looks like a bunch of grass. So I may just couch some of that down. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back with you guys. So remember I told you our prompt was lace and a bunny. And I did do a little bit of stitching around this bunny and I did a little bit of turkey work there and then just some different colors of gray thread around the bunny. And he's going to be tucked in there and maybe cut around. But the other prompt was lace. Well, I didn't find, the only lace I found was kind of this. What I did have is cheesecloth. And this was from Steph Francis. This is mulberry bark from Steph Francis. So what I'm going to do is just kind of start stitching some of this down, tacking it down. 
and that's going to give me a little bit of texture here at the bottom. So while I'm sewing this down, I thought I would do a little voiceover and talk to you just a little bit. First of all, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. You guys are fantastic. I have yet to have any negative comments on my videos, and I know there are some of the YouTubers who have, I don't know, 50, 60, 70,000 subbies, and they talk about negative comments and I have yet to have any negative comments, so I really appreciate that. I know it will come one day because sometimes people just have bad days. So I've already prepared myself that I'm just going to look at it as if I have then become a famous YouTuber because I've had a negative comment <laughs> or just realized that person is having a bad day and maybe I need to just say a little prayer for them. But so far, so good. I didn't end up using that lime green lace. It was just a little bit too bright for this image. So, you know, <clears throat> it's all a work in progress. Let's see, what else have I been doing? I finished uh, editing and filming my Jane Austen journal cover. That was, oh, that is so much fun. I, I'm not sure which I like better. Journal making, paper crafting, or sewing. They're about all equal with me. I love doing all of that stuff, and I'm sure you guys are the same. You know, when you craft, you like all kinds of crafts, just about. So anyway, I'm going to finish this up right here, and then we'll continue on with the video. So I just did a running stitch to stitch this down, but this here, this kind of string with this, uh, eyelash thread what I'm gonna do is couch that down so all you have to do is run a stitch up and over the top of it and that will hold it in place Okay, so I'm going to continue doing that. Okay, so I finished stitching all of this down. That is going to be like my uh, grass. And then I have this little piece of a trim that I believe is from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to stitch that down as a tree there and then I'll also have that tree there and then I may even bring one up there but I'm just going to use um, a crew color of just a basic thread and stitch that down. I am going to hold off on stitching my bunny because I want to wait until next week's prompt let me back you out a little bit. Next pre next week's prompt to find out what um what else are we're supposed to do. And like I said, I do want a arch around here, and so this little bunny may have to be, you know, tucked down in there with some grass over him and behind something, maybe even a little shed. I did cut a piece of this off, but I think what I'm going to do, thank goodness my sister gave me more of it. And what I will probably do is just take a piece and have the entire piece run across, and that will be like a fence. So I will show you a little bit after I've stitched this down what it looks like, and we'll go from there. Well, I finished stitching down all of my grass and this lace or trim. And let me scan you out 
so you can see it. So I will wait until next week's prompt to see what other embellishment they want us to do. I might I might do a little bit of work through here um, until I'm waiting for next week um, to see what the prompt is. But like I said, I'm going to hold off on putting my little bunny until next week. Well, I worked on my piece a little bit more. I stitched different fabrics down to represent some clouds. I stitched another tree here with some leaves. I finished off my arbor here using pinks, different shades of pinks and some greens. I did go ahead and stitch down my little rabbit here. I put a little pink up there in his ears and different colored threads here as far as different browns and what have you. And then I stamped this little butterfly here and I'm going to use different shades of purple starting with the darkest on the outside and then going into the lighter shades here. So I'm going to start doing that and then I will be back with you. I'm really enjoying how it's turning out. So I did sew my butterfly and I did use all four colors of embroidery floss. I did put a little bit of black around the edge. And so now I think what I want to do is to help kind of finish it off since the prompt was bunnies and lace I'm going to sew some lace all the way around it I think that will finish it off this is some lace that uh, the dollar store carries and I've got more than enough of that I hadn't realized I had bought it seems like every time I go to the dollar store I probably pick up a roll thing. Oh, that's that's pretty good lace for a, a dollar. It's nine feet. So I'm going to go ahead and hand stitch this around it and we'll see what it looks like from there. So I finished stitching the lace all the way around it and I think that really helped it a lot. It really, I think, helps finish it off but I'm still not real pleased with this I'm totally pleased with this I think this came out really nice but I need to add something here if you guys have any suggestions leave me a comment and let me know what I can do to finish that area off and make it better I would really appreciate it and then I don't know if you guys recall when I did the front panel. This had my thimble stitched on there. And remember I said I didn't like it. It looked like a spaceship. So I, I ripped out all of that thread that was there. And instead I stitched on a piece of fabric stitched with love. And I think that looks better than my my wonky uh looking thimble but anyway thanks for joining me everyone and again thank you roxy and or rachel and sarah for this wonderful little challenge talk to you guys later bye